All right, everybody, welcome to another Samuels and Sons Seafood Market Update. I'm your host, Bill Bradford. Well, after a somewhat cozier than average December, winter weather is officially here and it's affecting some fish availability on the East Coast. So, fish such as Atlantic cod and haddock are limited as fishermen are having shorter trips because they're being blown in by high winds and obviously some cold weather. Uh, the same conditions are affecting Iceland cod as well. Now, what we recommend, while we do have these fish in-house, we can always recommend Pollock. It's an incredible alternative. Uh, it has a similar lean, flaky meat. Now, Pollock do swim in the same waters as cod and haddock. However, there's a little bit more of a abundant stocks in those areas. So when fishermen are out for those small trips, they're catching a little bit more uh, Pollock than they would be cod. Next. Scottish and Norwegian salmon availability is also decreased due to these wintry conditions. We are getting reports of high winds and 20-foot tall waves in the actual farms where Scottish and Norwegian salmon are farmed. So, I mean, imagine being out there during that. I complain about, you know, here in Philadelphia. So it's got to be kind of rough. But Samuels has close relationships with our Norwegian and Scottish salmon farmers, and we can keep you supplied. So while we discuss uh, over there in Norway, it's important to mention a real star product this week. You know, right now, as I mentioned, in off the coast of New England, uh, East Coast halibut availability is also somewhat decreased. So we have a great product with our Norwegian sea-raised halibut. These are 10 to 20 pound fish. They're head-on. Very beautiful. Um, now I want to go down stairs to our downstairs reporter, Nick, a.k.a. Dr. Fish. I believe he's down there. Uh, Nick, hopefully you're down there working this time. What, what do you have for us? Hey, Billy B. I'm a little busy, Dad. Yeah, well, yeah, I can tell him. Hold on. With cod, pollock, and fluke, and East Coast halibut being so expensive due to high winds this time of year, sea-raised halibut is a beautiful option for a white fish. Nice firm flesh, consistent quality, consistent sizing, and a good price. Talk to your sales rep about it. But I gotta go, Dad. Lots of stuff happening down here. I'll see you later, Bill. Back to you. Okay, Nick, but let's stay busy down there, okay? Moving on. Samuels is joining Philadelphia, New York with a, another exciting restaurant week. New York's Restaurant Week will be January 18th to February 5th, while Philadelphia is celebrating this great week, January 17th to the 22nd, and then also the 24th to the 29th. So I want to uh, take you to one of our star Center City Philadelphia sales agents, Laurie Townsend, to tell us all about her experiences during Restaurant Week. Okay, everyone, now finally a big treat for me. I get to sit down with the one and only Laurie Townsend, one of our uh, star, as I mentioned, Philadelphia salespeople. So, Laurie, you've been uh, doing this for a while. You've become somewhat of an expert on Restaurant Week. Laurie, how do you prepare your chefs for Restaurant Week? Well, the first thing I do, Bill, by the way, thank you. Um, the first thing I do is find out what type of menu format they plan to run. Uh, if they're running their regular menu, it's not as complicated as if they want to run something limited, just with one or two choices. So then we have to find something fun, interesting, and with good supply uh, that's not going to change much in price over the period of time of restaurant week. Okay, so, I mean, keeping all those things into consideration, what... Uh, any specific products do you have that you're thinking about this year? Sure. Uh, I would say for wild products that are local or East Coast uh, fished, I would say skate is great and monkfish. Both are looking beautiful this time of year. Uh, the supply is good and the price is, is very stable. Um, on the farm side of it, I would say cobia or barramundi or rainbow trout are three, three good choices. Well, I, I always take your advice. I mean, you're the person I do come to when I have a special night out. Um, speaking of which, you know, me and you are going to have to eventually venture out in the center city sometime. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm a fan of yours. My favorite thing to do, eat out. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, I'll end it there. But um, I want to keep you guys uh, updated. If you leave us any comments or questions about seafood, we will answer them in our next update. You can always follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I you will get all the best updates in the business. So, signing off, this is Bill Bradford saying, remember, we are not broadcasters, we are fish people.